Check it out, it's the high speed electric air duster from Ulanzi. We're gonna suck the life out of everything with this. Come on! That's right, I said suck and not blow. It does both, it sucks and it blows. So it's the high speed air blower from Ulanzi and the high speed air vacuum sucker from Ulanzi. Let's just get into it. G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and the other day I received a gift. It turned up in the letterbox. I was quite excited because I didn't know what it was and I opened it and I still didn't quite know what it was. And it turned out that Ulanzi has sent me the latest blower vac, which I'm going to explain in just a little bit, but it was unannounced. It just turned up. So I don't know if it was like a thanks or a hey, how's it going? Or a whoops, we meant to send it to somebody else or we forgot to tell you we're going to send it to you. But I am thankful that I get to share it with you today. So here it is. It's two parts. You can buy them separately. This is a blower and the vac and this is the vacuum accessories that you attach to it. it comes in this beautiful box. Bit of a sleeve, and I'm gonna get in trouble for making a mess in the house. Instructions. It's like a gun. And it's got one button, and that's all it is. Now, it's a bit hot today. Very cool. Takes your breath away. Watch this and see how suction it is. Ready? Oh, she's so dumb. Oh, I'm not going to keep that on there, otherwise people will start talking. One of the absolute ripper things about this little device is how you can use it in all manner of ways. So it's not just for your camera gear, you can use it for little vacuum jobs, you can get right into the cracks and crevices when you need to, you can blow dust out of keyboards or off of fans, you can suck up the dirt that's caught in a window rail, or just turn the blower onto your barbie and get it cranky. It's so versatile and so easy to use without having to lug out the big vacuum cleaner every time you get a little mess you need to sort out. So we have a blower capacity here and a vacuum capacity here. Battery is here, rechargeable, weighs a fair bit. It's got a nice weight to it. Doesn't feel like it's fragile or gonna fall to pieces. And then you get some goodies with it. So you get a nice little box and your charging cable. But then you have a, oh, what would be the best way? Like a needle nosed, get in there, right into the detail of it all, right? Right into the detail, blow it all out. So we're talking blower at the moment. With the long one, you can attach this nice little brush to it, get right in there, and I'm gonna show you how this works in a minute. So if you just buy the pack as is, you get a number of blower accessories. You can pop this on right here, and they screw on, the blowers screw on. You can have this uh, medium size one. Then you have the needle nose, this like feels like it's for surgery, like oh, you get right in there, right in there. There are the blower accessories, very handy to have around. Now what I'm going to do, it would be good if they came with a little bag, a little bag so you don't lose them because there's a potential to lose them, but if you buy the other half, it's a vacuum pack. And here it is, it's all really quite simple. You have your vacuum body here, which gets pushed on to the vacuum end, right? So that has a filter built in that you can simply unscrew, pull out, that has a vacuum seal, you pull that out and you can clean it. So we'll see if it needs much cleaning in just a jiffy after we get stuck into my camera bag that is covered in stuff because I went down the beach today and got sand and junk everywhere, so it's perfect for making this video. We have these accessories that I can just screw onto the blower end. You have a bunch of different options, right? But they're all blower options. And then you've got the vacuum spout. The vacuum spout fits in. You can do it without the brush or with the brush. And let's just see if it's any good. So you can see, we've got a little bit of sand. Can you see the sand there? Let's just give it a vacuum and see how we go. I'm impressed thus far. Now this morning I had a number of bit of sand caught in the webbing and the back ear. I thought, oh, let's see how this goes. So just see if you can see this and I'll suck it up. Because when it happened, I went, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get the stuff out from in there? Because it was wet sand and it was awful. And you see all this? So that's all sand, it's well and truly in there. And then you can put the, if you need a bit of a get right in there, you can just put your, put your spout on. You see all that sand on there? Not anymore. <laughs> well, there's the trigger button nestled right in under the blower. If you double tap that, it turns it onto the first speed. That first speed is level one, which is 40,000 revelations per minute. Click once more and you get level two, which is 55,000 revelations per minute. Level three, once you click again, gives you 75,000 revs 
per minute. You click again and it turns it off. And then you hold the button down. If you keep the button held down, you go into warp speed or ludicrous speed or high speed. And that's when things get a lot of fun. And in my first taking of this video, I couldn't stop laughing and then I soaked Hamish and then he, well, threw the water back at me and covered my computer in water. Um, but my DJI audio didn't work and therefore I would recommend going to Ulanzi's audio because that does work and hasn't failed me yet. This is my new camera bag from Moment. If you haven't seen this yet, there's a review on the channel. But let's um, just give these a bit of a, a, a vacuum. Feels like they've done their homework on their lens and their size because that fits perfectly in there. The brushes are smooth and soft enough to dig into the grooves exactly how you need them to, but they don't scratch. There's no risk of scratching whatsoever. And if I take this off and just do a bit of a quick once round. So you don't need to worry about scratching the lens with this. This is so, so soft. And the lens glass these days is so, so tough. If you don't want to blow stuff out, you just want to clean up a bit of dirt. Here's my Z8 and this got all sandy today. So what I'm going to do, take the vacuum off. You just pull the vacuum off nice and easy. And then I'm gonna put the blower on that has the same attachment as the vacuum, but in blower capacity. And what I'm doing, so with the blow with a vacuum, you operate with the thumb, with the blower, it's with your forefinger, and there's the charging port. Blow some sand away. The other day I noticed some dust in here and dirt and grime, so now, just one word of caution, and this is my personal preference, but also would be my professional opinion, and that is I wouldn't use this on your sensor. Some say you can, you do. Some manufacturers say these blowers should or not. I'm not sure you lands you stand on that, but you don't want to stuff your sensor. It's too expensive. You want to treat your your sensor with the utmost love and care and gentleness and respect because it will make you pay for it if you don't. So I wouldn't use this on my sensor. There are better sensor cleaning options out there, but I'd certainly use it everywhere else in the camera. And you can actually extract through there, obviously, but I would recommend putting the filter system on so you don't get this full of all junk and so it doesn't work anymore. It's easy to clean. That just, that you could be, you could wash that. It doesn't get dirty much at all. Let's have a look at this vacuum. So we just twist the top and pull that off, that's all clean. And then this is the suction, see it sucks in here? Have a look at this, look at this. This is like two minutes of cleaning. And then I grab a cloth, I'll use my finger in this case, to just dislodge the dust. And then like, you could even, oh, let's do it. Oh, don't do that. That was silly. But you could go outside and just blow all the dust rather than blowing it all around your house like I've just done. You could actually blow this off outside. Oh, look at that. You should definitely do that outside, not inside. But that works. Just stick it on there. It even feels like it's made for it. Blow the dust out. Stick this back in. It just sits in there nicely and firmly. You will push it in even evenly and then locks away like so. Oh, I need to clear up this mess now. Oh, far out. Well, I hope this review's been helpful. I wasn't even planning to be a review. Just turned up and I thought, this is really cool. You need to know about it. And prices are really cheap and affordable in my opinion. And I just encourage you to go and get one if you need it. It'd be great to just chuck in your bag, a couple of attachments, uh, just elastic band or taped to it. Can you hear that thunder? Thunder struck. <laughs> and then you can just chuck in your bag, have it wherever you go and uh, quick charge. You're good for ages. Hope this review has been helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Check it out. It's the high. <laughs>